All right, hey guys, Dr. Lobaz here, and I wanted to share with you something that came out in the paper the other day, and I'm just gonna read a little bit what it says here at the top. Anti-vaccine chiropractors, a rising force of misinformation. So, you know, it's kind of funny because a lot of people think that I'm anti-vax, and I'm not necessarily anti-vax, but I'm not against it, either. like I'm not for it either. Let me kind of open this up a little bit. When I went to chiropractic school, we learned about how the body works, the different ways that your body can, you know, maybe let's just say bring in a virus, like so let's say you breathe it in through your nose and immediately you have these cells that come along and start recognizing it and seeing if it's an invader and seeing if it's actually, uh, you know, supposed to be there. So, you know, there's things that your body starts recognizing immediately and starts going after and attacking if it's foreign. So as it breaks down through the body and, it, and then gets to the bloodstream, uh, your body sees it, fights it, kills it off, you know, or maybe it's still there enough where um, your body maybe gets sick for a few days, you know, and then, you know, they say you become immune, which I don't really believe you become immune, but your body recognizes it and fights it easier. So that all being said, the other model of, you know, we try to build up the body. So it's not that we're against the vaccine, if it worked, we'd be all for it, frankly. But what we know is that with the physiology of the body, and that's our study, you know, we look at it and say, let's attack this differently. And because it's differently and it's not mainstream medical, you know, they look at it and say that we're crazy. And that's, I don't know, it sounds a little, it's, it's a little off, you know? So I look at it and say, you know, I'm not against, you know, the idea of a vaccine. The concept makes sense, but to directly inject it, it's pretty strong for the body to handle, even though they try to kill it and make it as weak as possible, you know, your body still has to recognize it throughout in steps, right? You can't just like go from like, your first car is a Lamborghini. Like it, it no one's gonna do that. No parent in the right mind is gonna give you a really nice car in the beginning because you're not ready for that. Same thing with these viruses. So I, I love at the end of this article, it talks about, you know, some chiropractors that are, you know, saying things like, um, basically that they have the cure and they can give you these vitamins and that'll cure you. And, you know, I look at the vitamins and supplements maybe a little bit differently than probably most. I think we use supplements for things we need in our diet that we need a supplement for, you know, you might not be getting enough of and the typical American diet, it kind of stinks, frankly. So we need to supplement for with some things. And sometimes we use herbs to support your body. And when we're supporting your body and we're working with the physiology of the body, we're doing a little bit different than the medical field, which is more focused on alleviating symptoms by giving you this or that drug that will, you know, you don't feel it anymore. You know, does that mean you're healthy if you don't feel it? Like if you're getting migraines every day and the doctor says, oh, you're deficient in Tylenol. That doesn't make any sense. What chiropractors do is support and build up the body so that the body can fight against things. So I don't think there's any chiropractor that says, oh, we have the cure to this or that. If they do, I'm gonna challenge that, that concept because we wanna support the body, we wanna get it strong, like preparing for a marathon. We're gonna train, we're gonna keep the body strong. When, you're, when it's marathon day, you can go out and you know, do your business. But at the end of the day, we wanna keep the body strong. That's the difference between chiropractic and the medical field. Now, I'm not saying that medical, it doesn't want to keep the body strong, but that's, you know, they usually work on the symptom base, right? We're not really necessarily doing that. It's not that I don't care where you have symptoms if you come into my office, but I also want you to know that, you know, it's not just about the symptoms. We're going to keep the body strong and the symptoms kind of tend to fall off when the body's strong. All right, guys, I hope that makes sense. And this little hit piece that they came out with, uh, you can actually look it up. AP News is who put it out, but the courier actually uh, carried it, obviously. That's how I saw it. Someone brought it in. Uh, actually, Dr. Jane brought it in. And, uh, you know, so I see these things and I kind of have to laugh a little bit because they can be very misleading when they put it out there like that, that, you know, chiropractors are anti anything. I'm not anti anything that gets your body healthier. If I believe that it did that, I'd be all for it. What I believe, you know, when they put the, the mumps out, they had to run it through a, four years of testing before they actually released it out to the public. And this was done in a very, very short time frame with this, you know, I'm not gonna say it, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and I think that's a little bit scary, especially since it's different technology that's not, you know, a lot of people have, are a little sketchy about using this technology. Even the people who came up with it are like, 
there are at least a couple that have said, you know, we're not, we don't think it's good for human consumption, you know, and, and that's what they're using it for. So it is a little scary. So I understand if you're hesitant about getting it. Um, you know, obviously I believe it's a personal choice. I don't think that you can, uh, you know, like you've seen the memes, I don't think you can wear a, a, a winter coat and keep the guy next to you warm. It doesn't really work like that. The physiology doesn't work like that. You have to build up your own system. You can actually have a test done to see how strong your immune system is. So when you do come in contact with something like this, we can know how well your body's gonna handle it. You know, so I think there are things that chiropractors think differently about. Doesn't mean that, you know, obviously we're not putting people on pedestals here. We're just saying we're gonna think differently. So guys, I hope that clears that up a little bit. And if you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you soon.